Hello there, good morning. The First Minister's office has insisted a UK official was invited to a meeting at the COP28 climate summit with Hamza Youssef and the Turkish president. It follows a row with the UK one. Elsewhere, a council is warning it can't afford the cost of rebuilding its largest secondary school following the discovery of rack concrete. Councils will be able to enforce a new pavement parking ban from today, Prams 2. People are expected to protest later over proposed cuts to the curriculum at Aberdeen University plans. And lastly this morning, Highland Council says there's a significant risk parts of the region are being depopulation and increased job opportunities. And now Gillian takes a look at the weather. And that's all for the moment, but I'll have another update for you in half an hour. See you then. Bye-bye. Hello there, good morning. The First Minister's office has insisted a UK official was invited to a meeting at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai with Hamza Youssef and the Turkish president. Elsewhere this morning, a council is warning it can't afford the cost of rebuilding its largest secondary school following the discovery of rack concrete. Councils will be able to enforce a new pavement parking ban from today. Prams. Protests are expected later over proposed cuts to the curriculum at Aberdeen University. It's and Highland Council says there's a significant risk parts of the region are being drained of people. The popular opportunities. And let's get your weather now with Gillian. Hello. Good. OK, Gillian, thank you very much for that update. And that's all from us for the moment. But we will be back with another update for you in around half an hour's time. So I do hope that you can join us for that. So goodbye for now. Hello there, good morning. The First Minister's office has insisted a UK official was invited to a meeting at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai with Hamza Youssef and the Turkish president. It follows the meeting. Elsewhere, a council is warning it can't afford the cost of rebuilding its largest secondary school following the discovery of rack schools. And councils will be able to enforce a new pavement parking ban from today as it'll be frosty in the north. And that's all for now, but I'll be back soon. See you then. Bye-bye. Hello there, good afternoon. A council says it can't afford the £35 million cost of rebuilding its largest secondary school following the discovery of crumbling concrete there. West Lothian Council, which wants the Scottish Government to contribute towards the repair bill, says it's inconceivable it's the only Scottish Council facing such costs. Our reporter Stephen Gordon has this story. The First Minister has accused the Foreign Secretary of being petty and misguided after a row erupted over Hamza Yusuf's meeting with the Turkish President. The UK government claimed that breached protocol and have since threatened to close Scottish offices in British embassies. Well, our political correspondent Andrew Kerr joins me in the studio now. And Andrew, can you just remind us of the background to this, please? Yes. Sir. And Sarah, the First Minister was adding that if the foreign, Ukraine, therefore indeed the UK economy now is a big player, particularly in the Middle East. Well, staying with politics now, and Rishi Sunak has defended Boris Johnson's decision-making process during the early stages of the pandemic. Appearing at the UK COVID inquiry, the Prime Minister, who was the Chancellor at the time, said Mr Johnson was following the scientific advice and encouraging debate of the issues. Well, our Westminster correspondent, David Porter, has been listening to the evidence and he joins me now. David, what has Mr Sunak had to say this morning? And that takes us into your weather forecast now. And Christine is with us. Hello. Hello, Sarah. Thank you. Good. That's the forecast. Back to you, Sarah. OK, Christine, thank you very much. And that's all from us here. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.